My name is Dr. Scott Schoen. I'm the director of the North Carolina State Laboratory of Public Health. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition on the nationally recommended uniform screening panel. And it's actually the um, second most common life shortening disorder of children after sickle cell. When an intervention is delayed because of a delayed diagnosis, that can have a direct impact on long-term patient care. We see this across the board, including with cystic fibrosis, where those babies who are identified in the first month of life have significantly better outcomes than those identified later in life. There are gaps in all of our genetic screening. One of the biggest issues that we do face are the panels that are available right now for screening can be expensive. Uh, more importantly, our panels are not developed to really address the diversity of our populations. Early testing for cystic fibrosis was inherently exclusive and inequitable. The mutation panels that were present when screening for cystic fibrosis started were based largely on European descent and so focused on one piece of a diverse population. When we are developing tests, implementing tests, and utilizing tests, particularly genetic tests, we need to be mindful of the diversity of our population to be sure we don't build in inequity from the start. I am absolutely encouraged by the developments in genetic screening. I think it's particularly exciting that technologies are emerging that are easy to implement, easy to use, and are lower cost, but also can assure diversity in our approach to genetic testing. My name is Gary Latham, and I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for Assurgen. Assurgen's development of a CFTR assay is based on an appreciation that CF is a disorder that doesn't discriminate. And we're at a place now where we have the right tools and technologies, we have cost efficiencies in how we use those methods, and importantly, we have societal awareness around what it means to be fair and inclusive in our testing. So for cystic fibrosis, we've had a lot of data for a long time, but we haven't necessarily had a lot of the right data. What we have within the past few years in particular is this avalanche of new data that's come from large-scale sequencing. Hundreds of thousands of individuals to understand variation in the CF gene over different populations and groups of people, that's now available. And since the test needs to understand how those variants are represented in different populations to make it applicable to all people, we're only now in a position where we can use the information to design the right test for the right group of people. That's what we're doing today. Our obligation to the labs is to be able to provide a simple work for them. What is a way that they can run a test that will give them fast, easy results that they can rely on with equipment that they already have in a way that doesn't burden them beyond all of the other tests that they have to run? We believe that the Ampletex assay for CFTR will resolve a number of workflow challenges for laboratories. That's something that we focus on and we have for more than a decade. The labs need a test that's easy to run and it uses technology they're already familiar with. That's what this particular assay does. We're at a position now, unlike any other time, where we have access to the right technology, we have access to the right content, and an understanding of how that impacts all people as opposed to some people. So it's exciting to be in a position where we can put those together to provide better tests for the broad population, no matter what your heritage is.